Hi everybody, I've got a slightly different camera angle here today so you can see what I'm doing inside this pot. This is going to be a bowl with some slip decoration on the inside of it. So I'll put the camera up high so you can first of all get a better look at it but also I get fed up of filming everything at the same at the same uh, angle all the time. I hope you like my new chintzy curtains. Keep the uh, cold out of this end wall here behind the door. Not my choice of curtains. They're uh, from a charity shop. <laughs> okay, so throw the bowl. I might um, cut some bits out of this, so bear with me, it depends on how long it takes to do and I don't think videos should go on too long, um, they get a bit boring. And I try and make this bowl, normally I make my bowls quite, quite steep angled, uh, but this one I'm going to uh, try and get it a bit wider because I'm going to concentrate on the detail of the slip decoration, it's going to be on the inside of the bowl so one I need to get my hand in and um, decorate it and also it's, when it's finished it needs to be seen I think so this is a bit of an experiment this I had a bright idea the other day the other evening and um, thought I'd give it a try forming inside this bowl now. I'm using a sponge on the inside of this because it's a lot more it's a lot more forgiving than fingertips and, and also it gives you a little bit more control than using a, a rib. I'll use a rib in a bit but you can get a bit more feeling into it, a bit more response from the clay. <laughs> it goes a bit faster here. It's because George is stood on my pedal. Oh he's gone now. <laughs> Still got a bit of a ridge here. I need to get that out a bit. So this is when I'll use the the rib. Helps you can clean your tools before you start, obviously. Okay, rubber rib. Yeah. 
this leather off this rib. Okay, now I've got some of this uh, iron bearing slip. I'm gonna put some on. So this is an experiment here, so could well go horribly wrong. What I'm going to do now is freehand uh, a dragonfly in this bowl. Let me just see if you can see it. Come on, Jack. Check the angle we're at. That white line you can see is the reflection of the, the lamp. Right, anyway, here we go. And what I'm going to do is use my thumb to give the dragon fly wings. Bamboo. There's some more over here, I think, maybe. Or do I leave it? I think I'll leave it. This will have a white glaze put over the top that will go sort of brown where the iron is and it will show white through where the, the detail is. I think I can get the dragonfly a little bit better next time. Like I say it's uh, it's all a learning experience, isn't it? What I might do when this is dry is use a pin, like I've done before, like I've shown before, and put some smaller dragonflies on, just to give a bit of depth of feel to it. Add some oxides in here to give the bamboo effect. But uh, I'll show you that bit next time. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to have another go at this uh, dragonfly. This slip on top of a wet body, it's almost like painting with oils, it's quite, uh, it's quite good. Right, here we go again, thick to thin, I'm just supporting it on the outside. That's better. Thick to thin. 
again. That's better. I was quite happy with the way I did the the um, the bamboo. The way you do it is rub my thumb through it, then lift it slightly, and it gives the joints in the bamboo. So. Notice that I'm uh, use both hands, but it's because I'm ambidextrous, really. That means I'm quite useless with both hands. <laughs> better. Body's a bit thicker, wings are a bit more pronounced. Nice, pleased with that. Okay, let me know what you think. Have a go yourself, post a reply. What I'm doing here is a uh, shallow bowl plate even these bats aren't the best I've had them a few years now and my home the whole made so all they're made out of marine ply I've not got a fantastic shelf life to be honest. Um, I seem to be constantly throwing with clay the soft centre. Just compressing the base of this. I normally put a, a rim on my plates, but uh, as I'm going to do some dragonflies on this, I, uh, I'm going to throw it with without a rim. I've just got to get the rim up and out now. on this one, I really don't mind. You can be a bit anal about getting everything so precise that it can have come out of a mould. Um, don't mind if you have a bit of a wobbly edge. It doesn't bother me at all. Just undercut this. I can get into it. So I can get a wire in it later. Oh, this bat's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to invent in, in, invest in one of those Lotus system of bats that Alex Shimwell uses. If you see his videos, it's worth watching. Um, he's got a 
the wheel head system, the bats sink in, sit, sit into it. They're not that cheap, they're about 120 quid. But uh, I'm beginning to think it's worth it, all this extra large stuff I'm doing. Anyway, let's get some slip on here. Here's the wider brush this time. Start at the outside. Sometimes that was just brushing off. Roughly first. It's on a bit thicker. Oops. It's a bit of texture. camera's clicking away a bit here so I think it's about to, the battery's about to cut out on me so hopefully I can get this done. Bigger bundle, I think. Here, It helps with the, the the wetness of the slip that when you go over something it looks like things are 3D. So there we have it. Another one. I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> There's a close up of it. Profile of the plate. 